welcome to Audacious Kids Online Summer Party! And uh, I've got a really cool guy with me this morning. This is Jotham. Can you give me a bit of a high five? And uh, he's going to be with us today in Audacious Kids, which is fantastic. Now, Jotham, I want to find out a little bit more about you because everyone at home is going, he looks great, but let's find out about him. So, um, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. 11 years old, are you married? No. Do you drive? Yes. Do you own a mansion? Yes. Fantastic. Well, I've got a little bit of a would you rather game and uh, we're going to find out um, your answers to these. Got to be honest, even if it's gross. Okay, easy one to start. A bowl of cornflakes or Cheerios? I think Cheerios. Cheerios, yeah. okay. Would you rather eat a spider or eat a worm? Probably a worm, because you wouldn't you won't have to like crunch him on a uh, spider. Fair point, just wiggle around inside. Blech. Okay, would you rather have slime constantly coming through your nose or through your ears? My ears. Your ears? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gross, right? Well, Jonathan, can you tell Audacious Kids at Home what we've got coming up today? Uh, so we're going to get the gunging tank and getting people in it and throwing slime on everybody and we are gonna um get our praise on yes and we are as you can see there's bubbles flying everywhere and that's about it yeah it's gonna be a great day in church today now we're gonna go over to keith and meet the teams amazing so good to have you here in the audacious kids summer party arena and uh, we're ready to have lots of fun today. I hope you're good to join us. And we've got our three teams here today, one of whom is going to get the biggest gunging of this series so far at the end of our session. So like always, we're gonna give them two chances to win safety from the gunging. But before we find out what they are, let's meet the teams. From the red team, representing the South region, Sylvia and Nachi. From the blue team, representing Central Region, Ian and Megan. From the green team, representing the North, it's Rebecca and Mark. Okay, teams, I hope you're ready to put it all on the line this time, because if you're left snoozing, you're going to find yourselves in the waterfall of destiny, covered from head to toe in slime. And challenge one today is called Ping Pong Butt. I'm afraid it's as weird as it sounds. We have attached to each one of you a box of ping pong balls, and without touching the box, and simply through jumping around like a crazy person, you need to empty your box. The team who empties both of their boxes first will win safety from the gunging. Okay, if you're ready, get steady, go crazy in three, two, one, go! Keep going, keep going. You can keep going. There's no rules apart from don't grab them with your fingers. Are they all out? How many you got left? Keep going, keep going. Natchi's trying to sit on them. Okay, amazing, let me see. Yes, indeed, blue team are empty. Oh, red team still has one in. Green still have a couple, so blue team are the winners of round one. The first team to win safety today. So we're gonna have to battle out between the green team and the red team to see who is gonna be guns today. And the challenge that you need to win, guys, is called costume dress up. Okay, so our challenge is costume dress up. And what's gonna happen, we're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. In front of you is your bucket of some of our amazing Audacious Kids costumes. And we wanna see who can get the most costumes on, worn in the correct way, in the 60 seconds time lock. Or, if you're the first team to get them all on, you will win safety, and the other team will be gunged like you've never seen before. Okay, our 60 seconds are ready. You're ready. Our time to go is now. 
Here you can see the first item is Jeff's tracksuit. That's right, a character from our Olympic series a few years ago. And uh, next coming out is the white lab coat of the famous Edgar, the time traveler. Uh, doing very good there. Oh, there's Jeff's hair. And our Christmas elf slippers making an appearance. Okay, where's, where's your Jeff's tracksuit top? You gotta get Jeff's tracksuit top on there. And the pirate hat is on. Superheroes cape. Red team are smashing it. Is everything on there? Within the 30 seconds, I think, I think the red team are already there. The winners! Well done, red team. You did amazing. You have won safety from the waterfall of destiny. And green team, you're going to have to decide who of you two is taking the gungeon tonight. Well done. Now, it's time that we get our praise on. It's not audacious, kids, unless we get praising our almighty savior. And one of the reasons we love to praise is because, well, we want to join with all the angels in heaven who are constantly worshiping Jesus because of how good he is. I don't know, I'm quite angelic sometimes. I think I fit in there. But time for you to stand up, uh, get off the couch, uh, wake up your parent, give him a shake, and get ready to praise our awesome Jesus. Let's praise.
attitude of gratitude got me headed south on a new latitude as my knees hit the ground so glad that you show me mad love at a new magnitude hey jesus i'm thanking you for giving me a life brand spanking new forgive me for the times i was blanking you and said i'm gonna praise us for cranking tunes yeah i just want to thank you i just want to thank you for everything you've done and who you are i just want to thank you i just want to thank you for everything One day, Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up. There was a judge in a certain city, he said, who didn't fear God or care about people. A widow of that city came to him many, many times saying, I've been the victim of a crime. Please do the right thing and give me justice. The judge ignored her. So she came back and asked again. I have been the victim of a crime. Please do the right thing and give me justice. The judge ignored her again. But she kept on coming back again and again, saying, I have been the victim of a crime. Please, please do the right thing and give me justice. So finally, he said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant requests. Then the Lord said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge. Even he gave a just decision in the end. So don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly. But when the son of man returns, how many people will he find on the earth who have faith? Fantastic. That was such a great parable, the parable of the persistent widow. Now, Jotham, can you tell us what stood out to you in this parable today? I think what stood out for me was that the widow kept on going and never gave up. Yeah, that is awesome. I love people who don't give up. And um, what do you think God wants to say to us today and to all the audacious kids watching through this parable? I think he's trying to say that be like the widow who didn't go give up, but don't be like the judge who kept on saying he doesn't care about anything. Yeah, yeah, it's such a good parable and I encourage you, audacious kids, to read it. It's in Luke 18 and it starts off and it says, Jesus told the disciples, his disciples, a parable to show them that they should always pray and never give up. So I want to encourage you, read the parable at home and in everything. Why don't you pray to God and don't give up? Now, Jotham, would you pray for us today? Yeah. Dear God, I pray that you will help all the audacious kids to be like the widow and not like the judge. And if there's anyone in their lives who are like the judge, who are mean and don't give them justice in what they are fighting for, I pray that you help them keep on fighting for their justice. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, amen. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, Jay. You have been fantastic. Have you had fun? Yes. Do you want to uh, say goodbye to all your fans at home? Yeah, bye. Thank you so much. And I'm about to go over to the gunge tank. So you may want to take cover. It could get messy. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. But thank you so much for being with us. What a great day we've had in Audacious Kids today. Well, it is that point. The green team are...
are the losers today. So I'm so sorry. We will come to you in two moments. But Audacious Kids, just remember, if you've got anything you want to tell us about or pray about, why don't you email us in at kids at audaciouschurch.com and we would love to pray for you. Are you ready, Audacious Kids? We're going to get guns. Rebecca, are you ready? For the greens. Keith, are you ready? He's ready. He's excited. Let's count down in three, in two. 